This time on JK Garage, we're going to be giving Casey's 99 Subaru Forester a facelift. This will include projectors and HIDs. She's been long overdue for a facelift since I actually hit two deer with her about a year ago. You can see here that I've actually cracked the grill. It's held in by zip ties, same with the driver's side headlight and the reflector housing inside. I don't know what happened there. It's got a nice little wiggle to it. So I snuck down to the junkyard and got two replacements for a pretty decent price. I'm gonna start the teardown process on her. Should be pretty easy. What's going on here? Oh boy, it's been a while. I can almost get it. Oh, this is actually the trim piece. you out stay what else is holding you in well, that was okay oh well, there's one more down here Ooh, it's loose oh 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 <laughs> screw it Perfect. Be very careful with it. So if you didn't hit a deer, there should be seven clips on your grill. Four on the top, and then a couple more on the inner. Make sure you take it off very carefully. And then for the headlight, there's a 10 mil on top here. And then the last 10 mil is behind your blinker, so we need to take that off. And that's just a Phillips head screw on the top. It should just pop right in. And you untwist the bulb. Set this aside. Got to pop this off too. The trim under the headlight. Where's the clip for this? Somewhere in there. And then the final 10 mil bolt is right the back in there. You can't throw this one. It's like this one. Then <laughs> take off your tape holding the headlight in. <laughs> take out the bulb. Or you can disconnect it. And then the headlight should come right out. And if your bulb isn't held in by tape, you can actually take it out the right way. You can just squeeze this clip here on both sides to pop it out of the grooves. And you can just bolt, pull the bulb straight out. Now that you have it all tore down, it's time to head inside and bake the lenses off. Before you put your headlight and turn signal in the oven, we'll run and remove some metal pieces from them. The headlight has four of these metal clips. <laughs> oh, that one. 
it wasn't bad at all. And then two more on the bottom. it for the headlight. There's actually one more clip on the side and it helps to put your finger on top so you don't lose it. Not nearly as fun though. Now we're almost ready to put them in the oven. I actually took a cookie sheet and wrapped it in a beach towel. Some people say it isn't necessary. I say it's cheap insurance. You're actually gonna preheat your oven to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once it's all preheated, actually Take them in. Yeah. Oops. And then set a timer for 10 minutes. Now that the 10 minutes is up, you can actually take your lights out and check them over. Be careful, because it may be a little warm. Now that you've had them baking, we found 20 minutes actually work better than 10. You just start at one corner and just start separating it. Now that the headlight's all apart, you can remove the old bulb shroud. It's just one Phillips head screw down here. Set that to the side. I'm actually going to put the screw back in just to fill the hole. Then we can begin removing the reflector from the rest of the assembly. And to do that, just turn it over here, and there's actually this bolt here and this bolt here. It's under a cap. And you can just pry that cap off with a flathead screwdriver. And they're both eight millimeter bolts. You just basically loosen it until it comes free. be able to separate them just like that. With the reflector removed, now would be the time to paint if you wanted to. With everything painted, we can begin the reassembly process of the headlight. To do that, you just take the adapter plate that came with the projector, stick it in the back here, and you can take this silicone seal that came with the projector, put it on this side of the threads, Sneak these wires through a hole back here. These Subaru headlights actually came stock with that hole there, so I made it nice. Sneak these through, and you can actually only put these on one way. There's a keyhole that keeps you from screwing it up. Sneak you on. And then you can put the nut on. With the nut tightened down, you can screw on the bulb mount. It's just three little machine screws. With the bulb mount tightened down and the projector fully assembled in the reflector, we we're ready to install it back in the headlight assembly. Before doing so, you want to make sure you feed these two wires through the back. And also, there's clips here and here that the headlight adjustment screws, which actually hold the reflector in the headlight assembly, will screw into. With everything reassembled, this is your last chance to clean anything inside or inside the lens. And we're just going to lay down some silicone to reattach the lens to the housing. While your headlights are curing, you can start on the wiring. It's actually pretty simple. You just do not use the yellow and red wire. That's the negative for the old headlights. You're going to hook red and blue to your new lights. And here's a diagram for how to wire in the relay for your high beams. Now that we're almost done with wiring, you can begin reassembling and finishing it by connecting the projector wire to the hot on the projector. Once that's complete, 
You can begin reassembling by first installing the headlight, then the turn signal light, and the trim underneath, and then finish with the grill. That's it for this time on JK Garage. Leak a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment with any questions and subscribe if you want more.